In section 4.6, we'll look at modeling with exponential functions. So the basic exponential model is a is equal to a naught e to the kt. Recall that when we tack on the subscript of a zero, that stands for the initial amount of something, whatever the a represents. And in our exponential model, we have k as a parameter. This parameter is called the growth or decay constant. And if k is greater than 0, then we have growth. And if k is less than 0, then we have decay. In general, the equation looks something like this. We're going to model this against a t. That's the amount. It's going to start at whatever the initial amount is and grow exponentially if the k is greater than 0. If it's dk, I'll draw that one in purple, maybe the initial amount's up here, then it's going to dk like that. So this one would be if k is less than 0, but the blue one would be if k is greater than 0. Now recall that we use exponential models to model things like population growth and radioactive decay. Let's look at example one. A small city had 5,000 people in 2005 and 6,200 people in 2010. First create the exponential model and then predict the number of people in the city in the year 2030. So for part A, the model is A is equal to A naught E to the KT. We know that the initial amount is going to be 5,000. We now need to find the value of k. And to find k, I'm going to throw in the other point, which is 6,200 and 2,010. So plugging that in for a, we get 6,200 is equal to 5,000 e to the k, and then we need the appropriate value of t. We're not going to use 2010 for t. We're going to make t a variable that's relative to this situation. Since the initial amount was 5,000 and it occurred in the year 2005, we're going to make that time 0. So 2005 represents time equals 0. Then how far in time is 2010 away from 2005? That's 5 years away. So this means for 2010, t is equal to 5. So we're going to put 5 in for t. Uh, next, divide both sides by 5,000. And so we get 1.24 is equal to e to the 5k. Now to solve for k, k is in the exponent, so we'll use logs. So take the natural log of both sides. Again, we have this property where the natural log of e to something is just simply that something. And then solve for k. Now we're going to write down a few decimals here, but you'd really need to store this in your calculator to use it later. a is equal to, so here's the model, 5,000, the initial population, e to the 0 0.0430t. Now, also recall that t is equal to the number of years since 2005. Question B says, how many people will be in the city in the year 2030? So again, we need to figure out the t value based off our initial amount. Since the initial year was 2005, this represents 25 years down the line. So we just compute a at t equals 25. So that's 5,000 e to the 0 0.0430 times 25. Again, use the value of k in your calculator, round this to the nearest person, and you get 14,658. Let's look at example two. 
A scientist had 30 milligrams of a substance. After four hours, the substance had decayed to 25 milligrams. Find the exponential equation that gives the amount of the substance after t hours. And b, how long will it take for the substance to be reduced to 4 milligrams? So, again, we're going to use a is equal to a naught e to the kt. Now, some people, and I believe this is the way it's done in your book as well, uh, they go ahead and throw in uh, a negative on the k. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to come up with a negative exponent in this spot if it's decay. So you can do it now or you can do it later. doesn't matter. I'll stick to the way that I do it. So the initial amount is going to be 30 milligrams. That's what you're starting with. And now we need to find that k value. So I'm going to plug in the other point, which was after 4 hours, we had 25 milligrams. So a is 25. The time element was 4 hours later. So 25 is equal to 30 times e to the k4. Uh, divide both sides by 30. And that reduces to 5 sixth is equal to e to the 4k. Take the natural log. So natural log of 5 sixth is equal to the natural log of e to the 4k. Again, natural log of e to something is just that something. And so we get the natural log of 5 over 6 is equal to 4k. Solve for k. The exact value would be natural log of 5 sixth divided by 4. The decimal version would be negative 0 0.0456. So notice that it's negative, which indicates decay, which is exactly what we're looking for. Again, you need to store this in your calculator. Store that as k. And we can write the model as a is equal to 30 times e to the negative 0.0456t as the exponential model that tells us how much of the substance is left after t hours. Question B was how long will it take for the substance to be reduced to 4 milligrams? So if we're looking for 4 milligrams, that's the A. And that's equal to 30 e to the 0.0456t. To solve this, we need to solve for t. t is in the exponent, so we'll need to take logs eventually. But first, let's get to that point by dividing by 30. 4 divided by 30 is 2 fifteenths. That's e to the negative 0.0456t. Take the natural log of both sides. So you get the natural log of 2 over 15 is equal to negative 0.0456t. Divide both sides by that value of k. Now when you put this in the calculator, use the stored value of k. Don't use the decimal. You get more accurate answers that way. And you get 44.205 hours.